Going to Asia. Raincoat. Jean shorts, the pattern. Pajamas. The baby half of it. Net thing. Laugh at me. She looks like. Yell at me. A hairbrush in there. Electrolyte. Hey guys, it's Julia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. So shortly ago, you guys were able to find out some big news I have been keeping, which was that I'm going to be going to Asia for some time, about a few months, basically like two. I definitely will be there. I am also backpacking around Asia. I'm not just going. You guys will see, I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not gonna say anything. There was a lot of information going Going back and forth so I didn't know when to tell you guys but I'm really happy that you guys now know and we can now get ready together I do have a whole box of Amazon stuff over there that I ordered I also went ahead out last night my intention was fully to vlog this but it ended up being quite more stressful than I expected it to be so I ended up not vlogging it picked out what I think will be all my clothes I'm gonna try not to think too much more into it because I know the more I think into it the more likely I'm gonna add more stuff and I think this is already plenty of clothes the only thing I might add is like a long sleeve but I also think I might just wear a long sleeve on the plane I'm gonna stop like yapping first of all is this raincoat it's honestly not the warmest thing in the world but it will protect me against the rain I got it thrifting it's a really nice one it's a Columbia one and it has a hood it's just like tucked in this thing it's good like windbreaker it rains and things happen so the one t-shirt I'm bringing and I know people are so against wearing white clothes and I will probably regret bringing it But I have like zero t-shirts and it has like a pretty turtle in the back for shorts I picked out three I believe this black pair of little athletic shorts This one cute pair of jean shorts that kind of has like a cute design in the back I honestly wear jean shorts a lot and this pair is like good for going out too So I don't know maybe I'll regret it But they're two small jean shorts and this is the second pair of jean shorts and these these are a lot more comfortable also. I have my sleeping set, which is this long purple tank top, like little sleep shorts. One sports bra, which is this one. One pair of athletic shorts, but these are more like tight workout shorts. And then let's go to shirts. I picked eight shirts, which isn't that many, but it might be, I don't know. I feel like it's not that many. I feel like I did good, but call me an overpacker maybe. This one white tank, and this is the only other white thing I brought. This orangey like crop top tank top because I kind of like it. This black tube top. I can like fold it up and make it a lot smaller of a tube top. I can wear it as a skirt. I could wear it as a dress if I really was feeling a little bit crazy. This like a little bit nicer of a tank top, but it also could still be a casual tank top if I need it to be. It just has a little bit of lace on the top, but it's just like a regular tank top. This this dark blue tank then these last ones are more like nicer going out ones this orange halter top which I don't know how long will last this black little shirt also doubles as like a comfortable sportswear sports bra shirt I tried to pick as many multi-purpose things as I could and this last shirt I honestly just think it's super cute it's really freaking cute and then I have this one long sleeve shirt for like temples also if I need like a quick beach cover-up I brought three fancy kind of things this romper but it can also transform into shorts this dress I'm a little bit hesitant this will just be it like it will be okay this is the one thing that I'm like a little bit iffy about but at this point like it's okay this little skirt is the last fancy thing I'm bringing and honestly the last clothing item I'm bringing beach like cover-up serang thing but it's really really big bathing suits I could definitely say is what I overpacked the most I feel like I'm gonna be living in a bikini and I want to have options when it comes to bikini this all brown one that I got to take the tags off of but it's a skims one that I got this princess poly one which this is the one if I were to cut a bathing suit I would probably cut this one and then also the top is like a bandeau top probably would only be good for like a casual tan beach day this bathing suit was also another one that I wasn't sure about, but it's a really, really nice suit. It's the only suit that's like super, super secure in the like tying things. This patterned bikini, which is just like a regular bikini, but this is the pattern. And this is the other one. I really, really love these patterns. The absolute last thing I am bringing is a one piece in case we go surfing or maybe snorkeling or just something that I might need a one piece for. It is a one piece and it won't come off my body. Now that I got that spiel out the way, I did the absolute 
absolute best I could. The only thing I think I overpacked on was my bikinis. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and grab all of my packing cubes. They're compressible ones. Fun fact, I am going to dose everything in permethrin. I don't really know when I'm supposed to do it. I am gonna kind of like put everything in the packing cubes for right now to see how many they take up. I'm gonna try to fit all these clothes in these little packing cubes and I'm gonna time lapse it because I just spent forever talking about it. I'm about to watch S in the City. This is the main packing cube. It has my shorts, it has my fancy clothes, it has my little jacket thing, and it has my pajamas and athletic wear. And this one I have all my shirts and my little beach cover up. And this one I have all my bathing suits and I'm planning to try to fit all my socks and underwear in this. But it's only like halfway full if my bathing suits are like strung to the side. I'm about to get my Osprey book bag out. I have the Osprey 40 liter with the 15 liter attachment. So it's like the Fairview 55 I think here is the baby in question This is the part that detaches and that I will be using as a carry on Let's open her up the big one She takes up about like half of it kind of we're already a bit cramped up <laughs> I bought the backpacker basic. Couldn't resist. I had to buy that. I'll probably wear my tennis shoes because these do seem a little smaller to pack. I'm gonna just like set one on each side for now. I feel like putting it in the pocket is just like dumb. When they're not clean, I'm not exactly sure where I'll put them. Then we have my flip flops, which are so tiny. This, okay, guys, this was a purchase that my father made me buy. I think the backpackers are probably laughing at me right now. Better safe than sorry, might I add. It is like a little net thing that has like a headspace in case stay in like a sketchy hostel for whatever reason. He just said he thinks it's like a good thing for me to have and like I, I don't know like sure. We have a bunch of carabiners like I got like a whole pack. I'll have to decide how many of each kind I want. Microfiber towels. I'm gonna just grab some random underwear really quickly. Always an assortment of options. Okay I guess I am picking the ones that I probably will bring. It's really hard to pick. More of these are granny panties than I wanted them to be. No, whatever. They're literally like this small i also got period underwear like what the hell are these so i bought the wrong thing pretty much maybe i'll have to put my socks somewhere else this little thing seems to be full i'm wondering if it would literally be smaller to just put these things all in one packing cube instead of this two smaller packing cube we have a waterproof iphone case it's like a little beach day bag if i don't want to bring my book bag or something this is like a cord extender hopefully nobody like takes any of my stuff uh, let's just all have kindness guys please i only bought one of everything i got this little box this one i likely will keep in my book bag the us one and it has the uk one it's a little jank this fits into here so kind of like wherever i am this purchase might be one of those unnecessary purchases that you guys are just like throw oh my god i keep farting i'm sorry if you guys hear that i saw on tiktok and people were like you need this i have not a clue what i would need this for but apparently i need it and it's a dry bag literally laugh at me i don't know what any of this is for but apparently like this is super useful and i like need it and i would die if i didn't have it so i'm just gonna put it in the side pocket we're gonna make it work somehow a rainproof cover the book bag why does it feel like it's small never mind false alarm Hopefully it's actually waterproof. Now that I unfolded it, it will never be folded the same way ever again. And at least she comes with a cutesy little pouch. Foldable water bottle I bought. Guys, don't even ask me. This is a cool little thing. These two all in one. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and I'll be back. I just lost my mind for about two hours packing my toiletries. I had no clue what to pack. I think I'm in a better place now. This is what she looks like. I still need to add razors, sanitary product. But this is what I have right now. Jelly cleanser from Drunk Elf which is like a face wash the body shop lotion extra hold hair gel I have curly hair and I know it's gonna be like humid as heck over there a little shampoo container a little conditioner container that I all have to fill up I was using this as just like a space holder because I need to get new ones but this would be my body wash eyelash curler in here yell at me a sunscreen container and I have another little like hair detangler hair reparative leave-in conditioner a face moisturizer because I know my face is gonna get dry this compartment is 
hard because I want to make sure that I protect my body, my face, my hair, everything. So, and then I have, I'm not even going to take it out anymore. I have my little makeup compartment that has two mascaras and you're probably like, Julia, you dumb One's waterproof, one's regular, whatever, yell at me. This is two colored lip glosses, eyelash treatment, an eyeliner, a lip liner, and a lip oil. Then I have a cream blush and a little powder. My toothpaste back here, my toothbrush, which I'll probably put in a bag, but again, it's just like hanging out there. I have like a face towel slash makeup eraser, so I don't have to bring like any makeup removers or anything. You know what? I'm gonna bring this little eyeshadow. It's literally the teensiest, beansiest little eyeshadow thing you'll ever see. And then I have tweezers in there too. For that, to be the only makeup I'm living off of for two months it's not that bad I really am a makeup girly like I like makeup a lot I don't know I'm kind of just getting like stressed out a little bit about everything a bag like this that I could put like my sanitary products and like my pills in whatever else like something like that if I need to use the shower and like that one would be one that I only like, grab if I need something in it you know if that makes sense I'm gonna think on this for a little and then I'm going to get back to you guys it's rough out here it's too rough out here it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard it's hard i took out a bunch of stuff from my book bag except for like two things to kind of just look at everything this is pretty much it i started packing some electronics i took out a few things from there and i added my hairbrush in there i added some q-tips and some hair ties up in that compartment i have my tivas my flip-flops i definitely have more electronic stuff than just this my charger my retainer probably have like a few extra like chargers and like knickknacks or whatever for the most part i have some more things in those boxes that I need to again go through and see this is for the most part it I have this bag I put a bunch of stuff in I have a little extra toothpaste thin tampons pad flex cup Gatorade electrolyte for you know the day after q-tips extra hair tie I packed a few other things I think the only thing left that I have to pack is Socks. They all have to be dosed in permethrin. Can't like officially close everything up until that's done. I'm probably gonna just dose everything tonight and then the only other thing is really just like medicine that I still have to pack. That's kind of it for now. So I may talk to you guys again. I may not. Maybe when I'm like zipping everything up, I'll talk to you guys. Hopefully that will be tomorrow. This is a travel size case I already have. I'm gonna see how much this stuff down here takes up in here this theoretically looks really nice and it's worked for me really well so far but i feel like it's just something is throwing me off about it i could not tell you what i just feel like it's really big whereas this one i feel like could be a lot smaller maybe not i'm gonna put all the little things that are in like this compartment down there first So this one actually might be worse. I don't really know right now. I think I am gonna end up going with the blue one that I just showed you guys. They're both blue, great. The new one that I just showed you guys. Maybe I'm making the worst decision, but whatever. I still haven't fully finished packing. I still have like to do like medicine and like some super small things. I'm way, way, way well off doing great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss any of the Asia content coming up soon. And follow my Instagram and my TikTok, both the link down in the description below and on the screen right now i'll be posting there as well obviously i love you guys so unbelievably much peace out